So we open Fusion 360 and sketch out the, uh, the main dimensions, um, extrude those bodies to the basic shape of the, of the knob, and then add fillets to define the shape. We then sketched out the, uh, the basic pattern for the knurling and then used the pattern tool um, and then indented the top. This is so they can put a, a silver disc in the top there. There you can see I've drawn a circle, extruded out that circle and then added a thread. So we now take the bottom and we start to sculpt and shape the bottom so it sort of fits um, onto the, uh, this is for an amplifier, so it fits on the spigot. I've then drawn a circle, um, extruded it out to a small rod and then placed it into cut away a small indent on the, uh, on the knob itself. Did some more redefining on the underside just to uh, just to get it the right sort of shape. I then created um, an offset plane and used that to cut away the uh, the top of the knob just to to give it its final final height. I then did a bit more fettling underneath just to sort of tidy it all up and and get the right sort of concave shape. Um, I drew a, another circle, extruded it out to the dimensions of a, a hex nut that has to fit in the bottom of the knob um, and then used use that to cut away that, uh, that portion. So there you, uh, there you have it. I sketched it out. Saved it as an STL file and then um, printed it in ABS on my ANA A8. Um, although I've got a Creative TCR10 Mini, that doesn't seem to do as good a job on, um, on ABS as my A8 did. Here you can see a cross section through just having a look just to sort of see if it's all as I expected it to be and it is and they turned out really nice actually so yeah that's it really not uh, not difficult but practiced a few of the um, intricacies of of Fusion 360. Just one one thing to note is that to get the threads to to print correctly, um, you need to edit that feature. And as you can see, so edited the the threads part of that, and then um, just tick the checkbox, which you'll see here, mark modelled. If you don't do this, it doesn't seem to print the thread at all. So um, that's just something to note really. And there you can see the thread is much more defined anyway in the drawing and it prints out correctly. Uh, yeah. And the guy who printed this off was very pleased. And they fitted a tree. So just a very quick. Just a very quick one.